Hi everyone, welcome back to Disaster Soft's Cliffs of Dover campaign for Dunnan vs Wick. Or Dunnas vs Wick. We are back with Squadron 111, the Hurricane Squadron, and here we are, May 30th, 1940, 6 a.m. Convoy cover between Ramsgate and Dunkirk. Now, after last mission failure, which was a bit of a disappointment, I checked my profile. Here I am, pilot officer, Taffin Exile. There's my ID number. Uh, missions flown four. Missions one three. Missions lost one. Obviously the one we did last time. So the first two were just those training flight missions, which I didn't bother recording. So we've done the last. We've done two and three. Uh, sorry, three and four with the two I've shown. Air victories five. I'm now officially an ace. Whoop 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 whoop. Um, ground targets destroyed zero. Sea targets destroyed zero. No planes lost. Huzzah huzzah. Uh, campaign goals is to get 20 air victories and uh, win 20 battles. Well, we're well on our way, aren't we? So we're doing okay. Uh, have a quick look at the mem memorandum. So on the 28th of May, we shot down the Heinkel 111. Huzzah. And then on the 29th, we shot down an, uh, a JU-87, a JU-88, another JU-87, another JU-87. So I've got three Stukas and one JU-88 bomber. Fantastic. So I'm an, I'm officially an ace. Who thought it? Mich, uh, missions. There we are. So we had the two. That was a 60, 62 minute mission. That one was just flying around uh, thingy. But these are the last two you've you've seen. So with it, fantastic. Anyway, grant. Oh, medals. And there we have our uh, defense medal. This medal is awarded for air victories one, ground target victories ten, or uh, sea targets one. See, we've got that for our air target. Fantastic. Anyway, we're wasting far too much time. Let's fly. Okay, here we are. Mission three. Technically, mission five. But you know, yeah, it, it kind of it's kind of running how I'm running as well. It's quite it's working out quite nicely because the missions add uh, the, the same as my actual episodes, which is good. Gentlemen, the evacuation of our expeditionary force runs well. Regretfully, the Luftwaffe manages to sink more and more of our ships. The Admiralty is concerned. We fly a mission to cover a small flotilla which is bound to take on further troops. The flotilla has sailed in the night and will be travelling directly from Ramsgate to Dunkirk. Beside us there are parts of the number 152 squadron and the 1601 squadron in this mission. What's especially for low flying aircraft within the last Within the last days, more and more BF-110s with bombs appear attacking our ships. Oh, goodness me. The old 110s. Last position of the convoy was 25 miles southeast of Ramsgate. We expect at least one aerial victory from you. Well, I am an ace. And that's, that's, yeah, you can expect that now. After landing, taxi to the hangar at the south southern end of the where the Blenheim is parked. Okay, good. We seem to be parking near bombers for some reason. Good hunting, gentlemen. Flight plan, fly over Dover, turn, blah, 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 blah. Sounds good, let's go. Okay, quick reset of the track IR. There we go, we're going to see what we're doing. Now I have um, tweaked the track IR to be a bit more sensitive, so if uh, if the head movements are um, a little bit more shaky, you'll know why. It's probably a little bit oversensitive, if I'm honest. Right now, let's just try and ease forward a touch to make sure the uh, the trail wheel is is pointing roughly in the right direction. Right, let's uh, prop pitch. We can have as a hundred. And I'm going to get a bit of flap, a bit of flappage to take off. So what I'm looking at, if you don't know, I am actually looking at that little lever there, the flap indicator. She's down there. Uh, so we'll just wait for um, permission to take off. My section here. Yeah. Is it just a slot? Uh, I can't see. I think so. I can actually go... Yeah, it's just us three. Let 
Are those guys gone there? Yeah, I can't even see in there. Oh, there they are. They're up there. Um, I think we we uh, we make a move, boys. Come on. Last one up, pace for the drinks. Now I'm using a lot of whoa, a lot of uh, right rudder to keep us roughly in a straight line. There we go. Hundreds. 110, we can ease up now. She takes off beautifully. Right, gear up. Misty morning again. Ease back on the old throttle. I've changed the uh, prop pitch to course. Let's close that up so we can actually hear what we're thinking. Oh, we're thinking, blimey. Uh, the other guys didn't follow me up. Okie kokie. No worries. They're, I'm sure they'll be here in a minute. Beautiful early morning. Let's bring that um, flaps up. Yeah, there they come now. Grand. So I like how the the early mist is down in the in the in the, the lowland valleys. See, up on the high ground, it's uh, burnt off the mist, but. Down in the valleys and the lower sections, it's actually misty. I like that. That's nice. Right, so let's trim this aircraft up a touch, shall we? It's going to be a bit jiggery pokery while we try and trim her up. Uh, that's more or less there. Um, so we'll lost them. Right, let's see if we can find the other guys. We can actually have a look at the map and cheat and uh, see where we're going. So we are actually banking slightly towards the coast. Straighten up. So we are going to be flying to Falston. Oh, blimey. I thought I trimmed this up, but now she just does not want to Endless task of trying to trim this aircraft. What are you doing? Let's get rid of that map for a second. What are you doing, aircraft? You just want to go nose first into the. It can't decide if it wants to heavily pitch up or heavily pitch down. Right, that is. She's been an absolute pain today. Uh, anyway, our guys are catching up, as you can see. There he is, just closing in on me there. Closing in on me there. Um, we are... Oh, the main force is uh, going along the coast over yonder. This head track AI is a bit oversensitive. There they are, they're up there. So let's climb, get some altitude, and we'll uh, we'll join them. So there we go, this is our course, heading to Folkestone, head along the coast of Dover, and then a trip across from, there's the convoy out there, down to Dunkirk and back, so grand. So I'll bring us back into formation, we've got our, the aircraft flying beside us, look at that, it's beautiful isn't it? a bit close. Don't hit me. There he is. Okay. There's the rest of them. Uh, so we'll we'll hitch onto these guys now, and then we'll. Uh, well, we might just do some flying because it's very very pretty out here.
Okay, here we are. We are now back in formation. We got a bit close to a couple of those guys when I was uh, checking maps and stuff. We have what looks to be the makings of some ship convoy down down below. Look, you got two large ships with loads of little fishing boats around. I don't know if you can see the fishing boats. They're very small, but yeah, you got the two large um, cargo-esque ships and then uh, a couple of little ships little boats dotted around so that you can probably see just where it starts to make out the wake of some of the smaller ones if you can't see them uh, I can see f too small too large to be honest with you that's all I can see but that is the makings of a uh, of a convoy they got a mighty convoy floating through the night where is it uh, so yeah so there definitely seems to be this seems to be this one here and we've got something over there. Maybe there's some more ships back there which I didn't see. Yeah, I don't know. We're, uh, we're, we're actually catching up with these guys a little bit too much, maybe. Looks grand though, doesn't it? Looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at these. Trying to fly in formation and match the speeds up, I tell you, is um, next to impossible. You're either overtaking them or you... Oh, by me. Let's just pull up just in case um, anyone's below us. Everyone's braking. Why is everyone braking? I broke the wrong way, mind. Let's um, let's bring it back in. It's like a, a swarm of angry wasps, isn't it? What are they doing? Is there some enemies in there? I haven't heard a call. Let's just uh, stick the old gun sights back on, just in case. What we got there? We've got a hurricane there. I'm gonna stick with you, bud, because I don't know where the others are gone. They've seen something, but I haven't seen anything. Is there some? Oh, what's that? There's some shots being fired across the, the water. Is that a 110? That's a 110. Is it? Possibly. Everyone's diving on it, so uh, let's get into that, have a bit of that action. Got 110s low. Is that a 110, right? Yep, that looks like a 110. No, that's a hurricane. That's a hurricane. I'm sure I got a glimpse of a 110, but all I can see now is hurricanes zipping across the. Uh... Yeah, there is a parachute. Just gone into the water. We've got targets over there. This is what it must have been like. It's you know you hear testimony where they're they're saying they're old fighter pilots. They were in a battle. Somebody's coming to strafe me, but that's only a single plane. Yeah, it's a hurricane. Um, they're in a battle. It's absolutely intense, and the next second, boom, they seem to be on their own. Where previously, you know, two seconds before, they had uh, five or six aircraft or more in the dogfight then all of a sudden boom they're on their own and everyone seems to have gone uh, what happened guys did we get him something back there got a couple of hurricanes let's go on they're incredibly low 
Should we get any 109s down here? We're uh, Well, that was a skirmish, apparently. Didn't see none. It all ended pretty quick. And then my hurricane buddies come to join me, are they? Okay. Right, uh, in that case... Ah, there they are. Look, there's two, blue, there's two blues being spotted over here. My section, there's some blues. We should just look... I forget to use the map because I'm so used to playing on the ATAG server. Oh my goodness, there's tons of aircraft. Where are they? Can you spot them? Oh, my mouse has just fallen off the table. That's really useful. And uh, sent everything scrolling crazily across... The Right, we've got targets over here somewhere. Keep your eyes peeled. Doesn't give us an altitude. Targets going up there. They're high. Okay, let's climb. Oh, I see them. Oh yes, I see them. One of, right above us, apparently. So let's get some altitude. Not, can't do much down here. Oh, they're all forming up, apparently. Oh, that bloody sun! The Huns in the sun, as always. Oh, there they are. They don't look like one of the tens. They look like Stukas. We know what we know. Stukas fly. God, we're so low. Well, if they're gonna, if they are Stukas, they will start dropping down to our height in a second. So, God, I've lost them. Oh, there they are. They're formed up. Are they diving? Looks like they're beginning to dive. Ideally, we'd have liked to have got them before they dive so we could um, make them jets and their bombs, but all things being what they are, we'll just uh, try and finish them off either way. Yeah, you can hear the, uh, the sirens going off. Let's turn. And follow them in. They've missed. They've missed, they've missed. Good, good, good. Just purely that's got to be our presence here, isn't it? It's, um, it's a terrifying noise though, isn't it? you got to admit. Right, let's reset the track I asked so we can get some uh, some hopefully some accuracy. Oh good god, I've lost them already in the sun. Lost the hunt in the sun. Here we come. Let's come say hello. Pay our respects. Now these are eighty these obviously I've set the guns up for um BF one tens and uh these are Stuka JU 87s, so the convergence we set is not going to be great. I'm going to imagine these have got a smaller um, wingspan than a BF 110. Trying to, trying to stay reasonably low so we don't. Noisy brutes. Let's get down low so we can, we, we're out of their um, tail gunners. That's what we need to keep reasonably low so they can't get us with a tail gunner. Oh, that's rubbish. Stabilize the aircraft. Stay lowish. He 
He's firing. Bank away. I think they got their, 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 their. They should have switched their sirens off by now. They shouldn't still be going. Right, should we get our um, our wingmen? Recipient. Elements. Air targets. Attack the bombers. Yeah, they haven't gone. I think they've got their uh, their sirens stuck on because they're still whirring away. Right. If I'm quick, I can potentially look up what a Stuka's wing span is. If we just um, hold off the throttle a bit, gain a bit of altitude. So I'm looking for a Junkers 88, uh, 87, which is uh, dimensions 45 foot, 45 foot. So if we quickly do exactly that, we will change that to 45 feet. That's about 45 feet, feet isn't it? Uh, pay attention to what we're doing. Right now, we need to get the. Uh, Let's dive down on them. Put a bit of. Try and trim the aircraft a wee bit so she's not bucking and rolling all the time, so it gives us a better chance of actually hitting something. So let's just try and stay below the. Uh, This noisy one at the at the back, right? So we want to be getting that. So it's about now. Too close. Let's just dive down under him. Keep resetting the track. I are keep drifting out of. I've set it far too sensitive. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to try and ease that back a bit. When you're practicing, it feels fine, but when you're doing it for real, it's uh, right. It's about now. I need to be firing. Actually, that's about the range. I think it should be easy, but it's not. Sturdy old brutes, aren't they? So we're right. We're getting we're getting fired upon. That's just. Okay, have I still got my... No, my wingmen aren't still on me. Good. Hopefully they're setting up for their own runs. Yep, my shooting still has a lot to be desired. Are oh, they still there? Look, they're still there. Guys, I seriously, I told you. Recipient. Wingman 1, I'll tell you directly. Attack. Bombers. Recipient. Wingman 2. Attack! Bombers! Right. I almost flew into the sea when I was doing that. There they are over there. Let's, um. Back on them. They're still with me, so goodness knows if they're actually going to leave us. And, uh. Right, that noisy one seems to have fled the nest. So maybe she's crashed. We've got four down, so. Or well, four ahead. I've actually closed the info bar because it was just kicking up loads of errors. I don't know why, and it was just getting a bit ugly. So let's follow these out over the uh, French coast. Oh, you're getting close, bud. Oh, wow, look at that. Can I lean back and look at that? Dun, da, 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 dun, 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 Where am I going? Let's see. Right, we're slowly catching on them. Right, let's try and trim the aircraft. Try and do this properly. Come on, we can do this. We think we've got one, but we can't be sure. So let's go. Um, come and harass them. My wingmen clearly aren't interested. You're not interested in bagging yourself a brace, no? Fine, leave it to us. Oh, one's broken off. Are you? Are you crashing? Yeah, he's going down in smoke. We scared him out of the sky. He's skidding. 
Nice landing, bud. Yeah, he's down. Oh, another one's gone as well. Where's the other one gone? There are only two there now. Right, so let's begin the climb. Let's see if we can get under these, these guys. They're firing at my teammates, my wingmen, my buddies, my pals. Right, they're coming into perfect range in a second. See, the convergence is so much better, isn't it? If you actually get them. These guys are smoking. Pretty much out now. I'm out. Right, so there's one smoking, and the other one is... Um, he took some hits, but I'm not sure if he's going to go down. I wish my wingmen would do something. Shoot at them! Shoot them! Uh, we've got Stuka high, and what we got over there? That's a 110. Okay, crap. They've got cannons. The 110's got cannons, so... I'm wondering, does my wingmen consider the Stuka a fighter? I know it's a bomber. Uh, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see if they go after him. Look, I've got, I've got Stuka right there. Are you going to finish him off, buds? Oh, they have. Have they gone? Whoa! Did he try and ram me? He tried to ram me. I'm pretty sure of it. Woo! Did you see that, buds? That's um. I d could you just drop back a wee bit, Wingman One? You're, you're just frighteningly close to me. I don't like it. Let's um. Annoy this guy. I don't have any uh. Ammo left, but. He looks like he's in trouble, doesn't he? Because he's... Hey! I think my wingmen are engaging. Finally, my wingmen are engaging. So, let's... Hang... Whoa. And my track IR is going crazy again. So, let's hang around. And see if he shoots him down. Come on, bud. I'll fly your wing. I'll oh, come on. I'll uh, I'll I'll run interference and uh, take some of this gunfire off you. There you go. It's firing at me. I'll go low. You're going to hit him from out there, bud. Is he disengaging? He's going home. He is, you know, he's going home. Okay, au revoir France. We're uh, we're out of ammo. Uh, so we are Winchester going home. I don't know where Winchester comes Everyone says Winchester. Winchester meaning they're out of ammo. So um, I'm not sure where that comes from, that terminology. I know there's Winchester is a... Was a weaponsmith, maker of weapons, back in the day. Well, I don't know why how that came the term for letting everyone know you are out of out of ammo. Got half a tank of fuel as well, so yeah, it's time to head home. We'll uh, we'll trail our work shy wingmen. Well, clearly, I'm uh, racking up all the honours for our section, which I wouldn't wouldn't want it any other way, to be honest with you. I don't know where the, those ever aircraft went. Probably back out to... Uh, I don't know if that was a new formation coming in. Or what. Let's have a quick check on the map to see where our wingmen are. So they're, so they're all heading back into Dunkirk. Where are we? That's a good question. Where are we? Oh, here we are. Oh, we went all the way over Calais. And uh, not surprising with my aircraft badly trimmed up like this. Um, but yep, 
we're going to head back now, get back on course, head back to our home base, and uh, see the rest of the squad are always already there landing. So, um, yep, we're last out as always. Last up, last home. Nothing wrong with that. Keep checking our tail every so often. We didn't see that 110. Well, we saw it, but we didn't get any shots off in it. Um, but we were able to take a few more pot shots at some Stukas, and we definitely got one. I hope we get credited with it. I think we may get maybe two or three, because they were quite heavily damaged. So, Right, I will fly back across the channel as I'm doing so, and uh, yeah, rejoin me shortly for landing and finals and all that stuff. So I'll see you in a bit. Hi guys, as you can see, we have the White Cliffs of Dover just over there. Beautiful sunny morning here in May 1940. What a beautiful day. What a lovely summer. If there wasn't a war on, it would be lovely. Let's get some of that. Oh, warm sea air. Lovely. Okay, I'm going deaf. Let's just close that down. That's Yeah, that's a bit too deafening. Uh, so we're not too far from base. If we have a quick look on the map, you can see we're just hugging the coast there, coming past Folkston, um, then Hive, and then we'll make a turn up. We've still got some aircraft circling around home base, so we'll join them in pattern and wait for our, our turn to land. Let's fly for this lovely cloud. Lovely candy floss fluffy clouds. Lovely. Uh, so home base should be there. And we've got there they are flying a holding pattern around the uh, the airbase. Sweet, we are back home, safe and sound. Somebody just peeled away to land. I uh, might follow him down, to be honest with you. You know, I am a section lead. I should get. Oh, look at that! That's beautiful, isn't it? I should get some priority when it comes to uh, to landing. I feel. I'm sure they're they're not gonna 100% agree with that. Now let's just keep an eye on which is the active runway. I'm guessing it's the main one, and I'm guessing we're landing and uh, landing from the north, heading south. Although I can't see the uh, the windsock from up here. There they are over there. So we'll circle the base with these guys for now. So it's till we see which way they're landing. Well, I'm amazed. I've got this uh, Mark One Hurricane. It's not my favourite aircraft. I much prefer the Rotol One with the uh, the variable pitch propeller. But I've managed not. I've managed not to destroy the last two. I don't even think we took a hit this time, so we're returning this pristine bird back to the hangar as long as we can land in a reasonable condition. Let's try and do a nice smooth landing. Let's just see where the Blenheim is. We've got a park member near the Blenheim. Can you see a Blenheim? You've got better eyesight than I have. There's loads of parked vehicles down there, aircraft, but I don't see a Maybe when we land it will become more obvious. Uh, where'd those guys go? Are oh, they over there? Ah, there you go. Somebody's landed. He's uh, missed the runway by the looks of it, but you know these things are built to land on grass fields anyway. So that's you know that's why we take off on the. Uh, on the field, it don't necessarily need the runway. Did he crash? It's not the best, was it? Not the best. Come on, boys. Okay, and we got another one breaking off. Two more circling. Apparently, there is a bug with the AI landing. They can just crash for no apparent reason, or if they're standing still on the on the ground too long, they will just explode. Because they don't manage their, uh, they don't switch their engines off or manage their uh, cooling particularly well when on the ground. Um, so yeah, that could be a thing as well. It's not a big thing, but it is a thing. 
But yes, if we can try and nail the... Uh, our shooting is getting a touch better. A touch better. Not, not, not great, I grant you. Not great. A touch better, though. So we just need to nail our landings. Because I think we're... Apart from trying to trim this aircraft, which I'm having a hell of a job to try and trim it. Um, we're flying okay, I think. Our flying's not too bad. I've learned enough of this game to uh, be able to fly reasonably well. Landing is another thing, of course. And dogfighting, again, is another thing. Did that crash? Let's have a closer look. No, I can't see it. He's cleared the runway. Right, where is that, Blenheim? Ah, there it is. It's there. I think it's just there on the the last two hangars closest to us. I think it's just sitting on the edge there. So we need, need to go and park in those hangars. That's fine. Right, I think if one of these two doesn't break away, I think I might go in this time. I'm getting dizzy circling around here. They don't look interested, do they? Ah, oh, he's typical. As soon as I say that, he's dropped down, isn't he? Okay, we'll we'll land side by side. It's fine. Put the pressure on into uh, land rail. So let's just pull back the revs. And when she's almost idling, let's um, bring the pop prop pitch to fine. Let's um, give. See, so watch that thing down there. Watch it. We're going to have about 50 flap. That's fine. Oh god, I can't see anything. Shouldn't have done that. It scared me. Right, so we've got a flaps down, 50%. We've got a fine prop pitch. Obviously we haven't dropped the gear yet, but we can uh, do that in a touch. Standard procedure for takeoff and landing during the war was to always have the canopy open just so if there's an issue you can either try and get out or uh, when it comes to rest if something happens you got a better chance of being able to get out right gear down let's put the flaps down the rest of the way open the canopy a rush of warm summer air can you see the others on final I can't right gear down So we're just using our descent to try and keep maintain some air speed. So we throttle right back. We're doing 120. Actually, the uh, runway's on a bit of a crown, isn't it? So we need to not drop too much. And it, we'll do a flare to see if we can go for a three-point landing. Let's just try and straighten her up a little bit. There we go. Right, now... A little bit bouncy. Bring the tailwheel down to try and dig in, give us a bit of traction, dab the brakes a wee bit. And there we are in a cloud of our own dust. Grand! Let's just open up the radiator fully so we don't overheat. I can hear a Merlin engine behind us, I think. flying over. Okay, let's get off the runway. Uh, and the Blenheim is over there, yeah. It was him just sitting there. Grand, okay. Sneak across. We can escape here, but I like to go and do it properly. Go and put it into the old hangar as requested. 
So there we go. That was that was a that was a I wouldn't say a bounce. It was it was just a yeah a variation of the runway, not being level. Uh, that was not a bad landing actually. We'll uh, we'll try and improve still. Still haven't got the perfect three point landing, but that wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. Got these hurricanes here being worked on, prepared, refuel, rearmed. I think they used to have to do that in about two to three minutes, or maybe it's a bit longer than that. But it was incredibly quick. Look at them all. Looks amazing, doesn't it? All the detail. Awesome. Let's try not to hit the Blenheim as we uh, come through here. It's got a. Oh, it's really wanting to pull to the left. Spin it around a bit. I don't want to hit the Blenheim. That Blenheim does appear to be actually in the hangar door a touch, so that's a bit weird. And the frame rates have suddenly died, so I'm guessing something started to load in the background. I.e. Steam! What are you downloading? But it's okay, it's just the end of the mission now, so... We'll rock into here, we'll... There we go. It's all nice, nice and smooth again. So fuel off, magnetos off, parking brakes on. There we go. She's parked. Found not quite in the hangar, but you know they can wheel her in or out depending on what they need to do. Right. Okay, here we go. Time flying was 51 minutes 52 seconds. F planes flown. Hurricane one. Weapon statistics, 14% hit rate, mm, aircraft damage, so we've got 4 JU-87s, 100% damage, and we damaged, oh, destroyed, beg your pardon, learn how to read, so we, we got 4 Stukas in that mission, 4 Stukas, and we damaged 2 other aircraft, friendly losses, some Spitfires, didn't even see them, and some Hurricanes from 601, a couple, uh, 4 of our buddies from 111, but 601 took a bit of a battering as well. Boom, mission one. Hooray! So mission three has been successful. Congratulations, you've gotten some BF-110s and other enemy planes. Well, we got the other enemy planes, actually, but... Grand! So next time out, we'll be going to Amens or Ames. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I'll butcher it either way. Sorry, French people. Um, as I always do. Let's have a quick look at our profile. We're still a flying officer. Five missions done, four successful, one lost, although we shot a plane down and made it back. I'm not sure why that was a loss, but I think overall the damage done to our boys was too much. Air victories, nine. Nine. Get that. We are awesome. We are pretty awesome, you got to admit. Um, so more Stukas. So we are the Stuka Hunter. Oh no, we need, we need a really cool name, don't we? Some sort of... Stuka Slayer, or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. That's mission three done, dusted. Four Stukas uh, to our kill tally, which is fantastic. Our aircraft brought back perfectly pristine. Nice landing as well, not too bad, and a nice flight. So overall, we're definitely on the up. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Thoughts and comments, please leave in the section below. And join me next time for more. 111 Squadron in Cliffs of Dover Disaster Stuff Campaigns. So I'll see you then.